Hi, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. Yay, it's Friday, it's Friday. And happy Cinco de Mayo to all of us who like to celebrate that lovely festivity or some of us who just need something to celebrate just because. Uh, it is Friday. I will try my best to um, check back in with you guys a little bit later. You guys have a good Friday morning. Bye. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It is now Friday afternoon. Thank goodness we made it through another week. Uh, this week has been just fantabulously. It is now Friday. We are great and awesome to be at a Friday. So officially now, if you're counting, or I have been counting, our students have been testing for approximately three weeks. Three weeks, different grade levels, different groups, testing at different times of the day. So it hasn't been everybody had tests at, you know, first thing, soon as you come into school type thing. They have been kind of staggering it. So that way we can get as many as possible people testing. Uh, three weeks. This is our third week of testing. We started about mid-April. The last time I vlogged, I kind of talked about that is test, test, test. That's all we're going to be doing is testing, 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 one, two, three. And exactly, that's how it's been going. One, two, three. We've been in, third, in our third week now of testing. We still have a few more weeks of testing. Our students are not going to be testing fully for all of the weeks. Different groups are going to be testing, so it's not going to just be you know the students who I typically see so now it's going to be other students but we're not out of our testing window in our state uh, the testing window still goes to about mid-May so that means we still have a little bit more time to go this was our first official full week of the month of May this is um, the week of May 1st so today is May 5th and I think I already said happy Cinco de Mayo this morning but I'll just say it again happy Cinco de Mayo I tried to incorporate some information about Cinco de Mayo. It was very interesting learning um, about Mexican culture and how and why, you know, Cinco de Mayo is celebrated for uh, the Mexican culture. So I thought it was very uh, good for the students to learn, make sure they get good information, clear up some of the miscommunication that has been given out to uh, various people about, you know, why they think um, Cinco de Mayo is um, being celebrated so that was good for today today was also a student's um, opportunity to catch up make up on previous assignments that they have been working on um, throughout the week um, the volume of activities has not been in my opinion of course this is not very strenuous but I am still requiring my students to um, do certain activities Thursday which was yesterday May 4th the interim reports went home with the students, so that is that midway marker, midway point, <clears throat> how students are doing in all of their classes, how much progress are they making, um, do they still have a window of uh, corrections, you know, some time to improve upon their grades. Of course, all students do. You can always make it better than what it was, even if you're a student with straight A's, you know, if you have a 91, you could always strive for a 95 or maybe even a 97 but it's always room for improvement we're in our last few weeks of school the last count I did for Monday I believe it was 28 days so we're under 30 days for the month of May we only have one day that is um, no school and that's for Memorial Day but all the other days um, our students are here we don't have any half days or early release days or any uh, super session testings like some high schools and other schools have. We don't we don't have any of those here. So the only day off that they're going to have is coming up in about two weeks is um, the Monday for Memorial Day. So other than that, the students are still making strides. We are at the end of the year. So now it's time to wrap up, uh, making sure that your grades are looking good and get you ready for the next journey. You are here, you're here, now you are here. So depending on what grade level that the students are in, it is now trying to get you ready for whatever is the next grade. If you're in fifth grade, okay, so now you got to get ready for sixth grade because sixth grade and fifth grade are not the same. Teacher mentalities are not the same. Teacher's expectations are not the same. Same thing for students going from eighth grade to ninth grade. You were able to do certain things. You were able to 
kind of scoot along, if you will, in certain classes. And But once you get to high school, it's a different ball game. Those high school teachers do not have that same mentality or thought process that you used to have or what you used to believe they have for a high school teacher. It's not the same. The rigor for high school has increased, so has the rigor for middle school increased. So it is now time to let our lovelies know fifth grade, eighth grade, okay, you get ready to embark on a new journey. Let's get ready. So I want to thank everyone for watching my vlog today. I'm definitely going to try to be more consistent with my vlogs. When I have duty in the mornings, um, it pretty much takes up all of my time. And since we have been testing for about three weeks, I have just been exhausted. I don't have no brain power left. When I leave here, I just, I'm going to go home. That's it. Nothing left, nothing more. Just go home. So I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. You guys have a great weekend. If you're in South Florida, please make sure you uh, bring your umbrellas because I do believe we still got a little bit more water, more water coming for us, even though we got a little bit today. Have a great one out there. Thanks. Bye-bye.